morning you guys so i just wanted to quickly hop on and tell you guys what i was doing in the last clip so basically every morning i go into my five minute journal and i do my daily affirmations what i'm grateful for all the prompts that it gives me in the morning and i do that every morning before i then go into my bible study and i just read a chapter a day if you guys are interested basically what i do um for my bible study or my devotional every morning is i read a chapter in the bible every day and then i write some notes on it that i wanted to keep or just remember and that's basically what i do pretty simple and you know this can go any way you want it to like this is totally up to you but this is just how i do it and i just keep this notebook by my bible so then i can write things down guys good morning i haven't really said that yet but it is a new day and i figured i would do a little daily vlog for you guys this is just gonna be like a very standard what i do on like an everyday basis so nothing too exciting is happening but i figured i would show you because i love these types of vlogs so yeah but i wanted to start off by showing you guys how i curl my hair it's really easy nothing special nothing like unique but i figured i would show you guys anyways mm. i first go in with my kristen ness curling wand i love this wand so much i don't know what inch it is i think it's just like maybe an inch inch and a half nothing too big and then i go with my chi straightener which i've had that straightener for i think more than 10 years so it's lasted me so long so i go in with that and then also i have like no makeup on or anything i'm still getting ready for the day so don't judge me but i go in you need a hair clip and just a um ponytail and then i use my dry bar brush and for heat protectant i really love the dry bar hot toddy uh heat protectant mist this i've been repurchasing over and over again i really really love it it lasts a while so i'm pretty happy about that and it's just really good to do before you put heat on your hair and i swear this has made my hair a lot healthier because i put heat on my hair like twice a week so also don't recommend that but i think this is saving me so basically what i do is section off my hair because i have layers in my hair and I have pretty thick hair, so just to not overwhelm myself, I need to do that. <laughs> Basically, I just do three sections for curling my hair. So this is the first section. It is just like the very bottom layer. I go in with my heat protectant. Make sure it gets everywhere. I have my curling wand set at 400 degrees because this can handle up to 450. And I just take like about this small of a section, nothing too big. It really depends though. Like sometimes if I'm lazy and I want to be quick with it, I do big sections, but for right now, I'm just gonna do small sections because I have time. And then I just wrap it away from my face. I always do away. So when I'm on this side of my head, I wrap it to the left. And then on the other side, I wrap it the other way. And then I get my straightener and I just straighten the ends. And that is literally it. I only hold it for about five to 10 seconds, really depends. 
and then after that i usually cup it in my hands like this to let it cool off a little bit so then i'll hold the curl and then i strain the ends okay i look insane right now but i have everything sectioned off in the back right there as you can see in a ponytail and now i'm just working with the front pieces i'm going to just spray them and i'm gonna show you guys how i curl my bangs which i literally just do the same thing over and over again so to kind of help me prep for curling my hair whenever i do wash my hair i always blow dry it just a little bit and i blow dry my bangs with a round brush just to give it some sort of shape because i have a cowlick right here actually and i um have been training it for years to help me have a middle part and it's worked so um yeah just using that round brush when i blow dry my hair really helps it sit well on my head but this is my bang and i'm just gonna do exactly what i do before and i cup it in my hand and it's gonna look like kind of crazy at first but then i straighten and it looks very like i need to brush it out but i'm gonna let it cool down first before i do that and do my other side so now it looks like this and it looks absolutely crazy I'm gonna take the rest of my hair out and just kind of like brush it with my fingers and that's how it looks it needs to settle down a little bit but yeah it's just natural wave kind of look and after a couple days I really like how it like is barely curled but not frizzy at all because I used heat on it so yeah that's how it looks and this is how it looks from the back but anyways I am not a hair expert by any means so take this with a grain of salt but I hope you guys like that and get got something from it <laughs> just ate my breakfast like I showed you I just ate some protein pancakes raspberries and these vegetarian sausages like breakfast sausages super good I've been eating that like every single day for breakfast the past few weeks so I've been really liking those but I figured I would sit down and talk to you guys a little bit I wanted to share a few makeup products that I got recently and I absolutely love I wanted to first show you guys my new like all-time favorite foundation so in previous vlogs you guys know that I always used the NARS foundation which I'm actually almost out but I love this I've been using it for years and I just I liked it but on my skin type it just didn't really work and so I really wanted I was on the hunt for finding a new foundation something that wouldn't show all my oiliness and all that stuff and I think guys 
I think I found it and I'm so happy. I've been using it for like a week now and I've been loving it every single time I put it on. The Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted Sunscreen and this is so good. It is not like a full on foundation so it doesn't give full coverage but it definitely gives you like pretty good, like it covers all my red spots, my acne, everything which I'm really impressed about because I have very, um, I have a lot of acne scars and redness on my face and it balanced it out like with just one layer, one small layer, very little you need. It's so amazing. I wanted to buy this for Cabo when I go because I want to make sure I'm getting a lot of sunscreen on my face so I'm not scarring easily from my acne and I heard that Tower 28 is a really clean brand and it's really good for acne prone skin and it just has amazing products in it so that's why i gravitated towards this and you guys when i say that i like am not blotting my face or getting rid of excess oil throughout the day like none of that i stay matte the entire day so i really really love this so much the applicator is also kind of cool the it's like a very small applicator and I just do like one oh. I do like one swipe and then another swipe like that and then like a little bit up here and I swear that's all you need it is so good I love it so much and then I'm just gonna take my tart brush and blend it out okay so as you can see it starts off super oily like you can definitely tell that it's a sunscreen and at first it's not mattifying which when I first used this I was like oh shoot my face is gonna be so oily and gross but that's not the case it once you set your face like with setting powder which I go in with the rare beauty setting powder once i set my face it is like it's never going oily again like it is set it stays put and kind of see that like it doesn't cover everything fully but it gives a nice you know blanket over my face to kind of cover the redness and kind of like tone it down a little bit so definitely highly recommend it it's a good price too i know the sephora sale is going on by the time I post this, it might not be, but the price is really good. I really like it, and you guys should definitely go try it out. Did my bronzer and now i'm gonna go in with my blush again i use the tower 28 i think i just really love their products like i just i don't know i feel like they have the best cleanest products and for a really decent price like i don't think they're expensive at all and yeah i feel like my experience with them is that they last a really long time all their products and they're definitely worth the hype. 
also ignore my eyebrows still because I am getting them waxed next week, the week before my Cabo trip and I've been letting them grow out so they're like actually disgusting right now. They're so grown out and has n they have no shape but getting them done next week and I'll show you guys because I'm doing a maintenance vlog before Cabo so you'll see everything I'm doing to prep for that trip. I wanted to show you guys this new product that I got. It is from Tarte. It's the Maracuja Juicy in the shade Big Ego. I really, really like this. I was influenced by the Tarte trip and I love this color. It plumps your lips so it has like a little tingly minty flavor. And yeah, again in the shade Big Ego, you just press it up with this button down here and then you just go in. I really like this shade because it um basically like when you put it on it is clear but it like changes with your ph level and so each color when you put this on is unique to that person so it changes to your ph and it takes just a second to do that so it's clear right now as you can see but slowly it gives color and you can kind of see it giving color now but anyways i really like this product a lot the tingly feeling that i get with plumping is not that intense like i feel like the dior lip plumping is and that's what i really like about this and i like how you can just throw it in your purse and it's not bulky or anything like that so definitely recommend okay you can kind of see now in like better lighting my makeup is like it gives a nice glow but like it it isn't like oily and gross if you know what i mean and then also my lip color you can kind of see how it's a very natural pink and it just apparently that's my lips ph level so yeah i really like it a lot and i love this foundation oh my gosh <laughs> guys really quickly i wanted to show you guys some books that I got their new reads. So I wanted to first show you guys the book I'm reading right now, which is All the Light We Cannot See. So far, really good. I really am liking this new genre for me. You know, it's obviously not romantic or anything like that. So definitely new. It's um, set during World War II. So I'm getting to learn a lot about, you know, a little history here and there, but obviously not a real story but it's a very moving story so far i really really like it i'm like a little more than halfway through and i'm thinking i'll probably finish it within the next week i definitely recommend if you want a bit more of a serious read historical you know it's very moving so i really really like this book so far but on my vacation to um Cabo with Abby I'm going to be reading a book that I just bought because I thought it would be perfect to read this on literally a vacation and it's the people we meet on vacation by Emily Henry I am so excited for this Abby actually read it I think already and she said it was really good so definitely excited I am learning that I really like Emily Henry's books it doesn't seem too long so i think i'll be able to finish it on the trip i am there for a week so yeah and there's 388 pages so i'll probably be able to finish that easily next i got a another book that i read was actually really good i saw it on book talk and they said that it was just a really sweet story and everything so it is icebreaker by hannah grace and you can kind of tell by the cover it's about a figure skater and a hockey player so I'm really excited to read this as well and then my next book that i got is actually i think it's like a thriller i'm pretty sure which that's like probably my second favorite genre i like a good kind of like scary book like a psychological thriller i like this is by lisa jewel which i've actually read one of her books before it's called I believe it's called none of this is true i really liked that book it wasn't like my top you know favorites but it wasn't bad i really liked it it was 
you know a new concept to me so i really liked it but this is called then she was gone i'm so excited to read this the i read the back and it just sounds really interesting and i feel like it's right down my alley I'm definitely gonna really like this so i can't wait to read that i'll probably read this book after i read people we meet on vacation just to kind of switch it up a bit I like to switch genres up here and there so that i'm not reading you know only like rom-com books <laughs> Okay guys, I'm doing something really exciting and I'll tell you guys all about it in the car, but a quick fit check. I'm wearing a Abercrombie sweatshirt, my Jerf Ave blue and white striped shorts, and then my shoes. Oh my gosh, I actually want to show you guys my shoes. They are these new Adidas Gazelles, aren't they so cute? I love them so much. They're like platform and with green stripes. I love them so much. They were definitely hard to find, but I got them off of goat.com. So a little pricey, but worth it. But anyways, I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm doing in the car. So I am on my way. Sorry, the lighting is kind of weird, but I'm on my way to go pick up a juice cleanse. I am going to do one, I don't know exactly when, if I'll start tomorrow or start Sunday and do it throughout the week, but I'm gonna be doing a pressed juicery juice cleanse. I believe it's the cleanse two that I'm doing. I'm gonna go pick it up right now, so I'll show you guys everything that comes with it, but I am doing this because I really want to kind of detox and get prepared for my trip for Cabo and I want to make sure just all the unnecessary toxins, water, just everything is flushed out of my system and I am feeling my best for Cabo and something about this juice cleanse is that you know if you are doing it for weight loss it's just not going to show you those benefits yes you are going to lose a few pounds but it's not going to stay that way because you're basically just losing water weight and because you're not eating obviously you're going to lose some weight when you are doing this cleanse but uh, that is not the purpose of the cleanse with this juice cleanse i'm really going into it um thinking you know if i lose a few pounds that's great but also i really want to detox and flush my system i just saw really good benefits the last time i did it which was like i saw like for the first time ever my skin literally glow it was so good for my skin i had such clear like acne like no acne at all such clear skin um i also noticed a boost in energy and just everything to like my gut health it was really really helpful so i'm hoping for the same benefits this time around because i know it's been a while and i think i used a different juice cleanse the last time but i'm really excited for this one and i'll show you guys like just everything that comes with it but i'm gonna go pick that up right now i'll take you guys along with me it is also so hot right now it i didn't know it was gonna be this hot but it's 90 degrees I guess it's April and it's Arizona, but still it is so hot. So I wish I didn't wear the sweatshirt, but it's a quick trip, so I'll be fine. All right, guys, I just got back from picking these up. It came in three bags. Each bag is labeled for each day and what you're supposed to drink for that day. So as you can see, that's day one, day two, and day three. And I'm gonna also show you guys the in-depth of what's in each bag. Okay, so I'm pretty sure these are all the same for every single bag. So um, I'll just show you what's in the first bag. And the first one, which they are also all labeled one, two, three, four, five, six. So you're drinking six juices a day. The first one is a greens two juice with apple, cucumber, celery, lemon, spinach, kale, and parsley. The second one looks really good. It's apple, pineapple, lemon, and mint. Third one is apple, cucumber, celery, lemon. Oh, I think it's actually the same. Yeah, it's actually the same as the first one. Uh, the fourth one is apple, lemon, ginger, beet. The fifth one, cucumber, pineapple, coconut water, lemon, aloe vera. Sounds yummy. 
And then the last one is supposed to be like a little dessert drink and it's almonds, dates, vanilla extract, and sea salt. So I am super excited for all of these. Another thing I wanted to mention is that you should, yes, drink all of these in one day and drink all six each day of the juice cleanse. Uh, another thing to remember is that if you are feeling hungry or you just wanna chew on something, something like carrots or making a salad without dressing, something that will give you fiber that, for instance, are like already in these juices, like a cucumber, things like that, you can definitely munch on. I know I do that. I think it's recommended to like not eat anything, but I know for me, sometimes I need that. So if I need a little something to chew on, I'll eat a few carrots, so. I'm gonna also buy that to prep for this juice cleanse so then I'm prepared and yeah, I've also decided on the way there that I'm gonna do this juice cleanse next week during my maintenance vlog for Cabo and that will just keep me accountable because I'll tell you guys how I'm feeling each day. So I think I'm gonna start it on Sunday which is also the day I'll start my next vlog. just made my lunch it's around 1 30 ish and I just had some yogurt I've been eating this Siggy's in the flavor vanilla and I just put it in a bowl topped it with strawberries frozen blueberries which I accidentally put way too much of but I then drizzled some honey and then poured myself a diet coke that you saw spilled everywhere A little bit later now and I think I'm gonna end off this vlog here I the rest of the day basically just sat around watch TV I played video games with my boyfriend and we ordered ice cream I got peanut butter and chocolate of course I love that flavor and we kind of just sat around talked hung out and that was basically my night so kind of boring not too much going on but it was fun for us <laughs> anyways i think i'm gonna call it a night and thank you guys so much for watching if you are new here welcome to my channel i hope you guys liked it please check out my other vlogs if you haven't already and subscribe and like if you want and i love you guys so much talk to you guys in my next vlog bye